guys welcome to my youtube channel i'm ciara victoria and for today's video i will be doing an unboxing and review on the dyson airwrap before i start the video my outfit's a little interesting it's because i'm actually getting ready to go to my friend's birthday brunch and she got this little cabana by the pool i told myself before i do anything today i need to do my hair and get ready and film this video as i said i would upload every monday so i'm trying my best to stick to that part of me feels like i want to upload on saturdays I don't know, but I have my swimsuit on. It's this like cute cream beige set that I got in Mexico. So that's why I look a little bit crazy. This aesthetic is like pool aesthetic, so. But also I wanna say I have been blowing out my hair for a really long time. Blow drying, flat ironing it. And I would say that they're pretty healthy. I already washed it before this video. I let it dry a little bit. I'm not a curly wearing girl anymore. I mean, I'm actually pretty impressed with the health of my hair. I do have to do an updated hair routine just to show you guys how I prepped my hair. So that'll be in another video but for now this is just my review strictly on the Dyson Airwrap. So I got my Dyson Airwrap at the Ulta near me and I saw this black and gold colored one. It's so pretty. So this is everything that it comes with. I'm not too familiar with the Dyson Airwrap if I'm being honest. Okay. Again, this is a very informal unboxing video. This will be a review more than anything but I just want to show you guys everything it comes with. So... Get out of there. There's no way I'm struggling this bad. Story of my actual literal life. Of course, the typical Dyson little case box thing that it comes with. I'm gonna open this up now. This is what comes inside the box. I'll do everything one by one. I'll start with the attachments. There's this attachment. It looks like a brush. I wonder if they name what each attachment is. I feel like this will be really good when I need to just stretch it out. There's this. It looks like it's just a blow dryer attachment. I think I'm supposed to use this first to kind of dry my hair a little more. My hair is pretty dry though, but I do need to get that stretch. And also, I'm not a big fan of blow drying my hair when it's completely wet. I used to do that, but not anymore. I think it's very damaging to the hair. The next attachment that we have is this. They obviously look different. I'm not, I'm gonna have to look into it and let you guys know what the differences actually are. This one has more of a sphere kind of tip, whereas this one's just pointier. I don't know if you can tell. This is that curling tool I have seen people use. My mom has the Dyson Airwrap and I've used it before, but there's a learning curve. So I'm really gonna sit with it. Um, and this one's a bigger barrel. So that's what they look like. They are the same in length, but not the same in thickness. I'm not too sure which one I'll use. I'll probably want to use this one, but I'm going to like just test it out. And then we have this, which seems like it will give you that blowout kind of finish. I don't know. Let's find out. And then the best for last, the actual the body of the device. I don't know what this is. I like it, I like the color. Yeah, that's it. That's what came inside the box. And this guy here is to clean the filter of the blow dryer. So this part is the filter and it needs to be cleaned to maintain its health. That's probably why my Dyson blow dryer just gave up and out because I did not know that this needed to be cleaned. I didn't even know that this was really a filter for real. And this color is like the Onyx in Gold Limited Edition Dyson Airwrap. <laughs> okay, so with that being said, I'm going to now move to the bathroom and start going through with my hair dryer, air wrap attachment thing in my bob. So this attachment, the Coanda, Coanda attachment is supposed to just dry my hair. And then once I'm done, it'll help smooth it as well. At least that's how I am assuming it. Here are the features that the hair dryer has. This is the fan speed. This this is the level of heat and this is the power. I'll use it on medium because my hair is kind of dry, so. Okay, my 
hair is maybe 85% dry. I just use this and it's very, it's very powerful. So I'll give it that much. The back is how you lock and unlock the attachments. So very easy. I like that. I am going to try this volumizing attachment right now. I can't find a clip. So I'm going to just use a hair tie and just take out a section. This is good. I already sprayed in heat protectant. So I have it on the medium fan level, but the high heat. a little bit more interesting I'm not mad at it I'm not mad at it at all really okay that was cool I'm gonna also try try this smoothing brush let me take another section of hair we'll do this front piece same thing medium fan level high heat Okay, so off rip, I have pretty fine hair. I don't think I would use this to just blow out my hair. I think I would really just use it for smoothing purposes. I'm gonna take this one off and on the same piece, I'm gonna try the other smoothing brush. I just don't think this will do what I would want it to do, but this brush did. I don't wanna like mess up my hair. <laughs> so I'm trying this one. Again, same settings. Honestly, I may not be using it right. I'm not too sure, but I just wouldn't use this, I guess, for straightening out my hair a little bit more. Maybe I need a bigger piece. I don't know. I'm going to try a bigger piece, but it's not really doing what I wanted to do. I don't really get much tension on my hair, but I need the tension because that's how I get my hair to be more flat. Also, this is starting to get frizzy. For this process i think i'd use the other brush the other brush i felt got through to my roots a lot better and faster than this because this side's a little bit stretched out i'm also gonna try the barrels so i look crazy i look crazy right now but i'm gonna show you guys the final process this is just testing this is the big barrel the 1.6 let's see what happens i know my mom's dyson had arrows to show which way the airflow goes this one doesn't have that Okay, the combo for me, this, then this, yes. But the combo with this, then this, nah, eh, so so. I'm gonna show you guys a smaller barrel, then after that, I'm gonna just do my hair the way that I'm going to do it, which is first option with the barrel brush, then this. So the smaller one.
this did it for me. I honestly am obsessed with this. I personally think that with more practice, it'll get better. I'm gonna continue doing my hair. My camera's about to die. I will be back. I'm styling it with these two. And I will let you guys know, well, you will let me know how you like it. I do think that this is gonna be a healthier option for styling my hair rather than pressing it with a flat iron. I do this with the flat iron. And I feel like the style will last longer if I use this option versus when I use a flat iron. So we'll see. I will come back when I have a little bit more battery. And it is so hot in here. But this is what my hair looks like with using just this. Basically, the technique I was using looked like this. like it's gonna get frizzy i'm gonna go on to the large barrel attachment and since my camera is up and running now i'll show you guys this process but this result was achieved just by using this so didn't really miss too much uh it definitely looks voluminous but it also looks pretty frizzy to me but i'm not done now i'm gonna take smaller sections and use the big barrel and see what that gets me hopefully my camera doesn't die this time has some texture at my roots. I don't want to keep using excessive heat. I am going to try to flatten out once I'm done with this part with the same nozzle. So there's steps. camera about to die again you guys okay so this is the final result my hair looks pretty voluminous i'm having an issue though with my roots up here if you see i'm having a huge issue with that i just wanted to show you guys the results using just the dyson air wrap alone i don't even know what the roots back look like I think if I sit with the Dyson Airwrap and really take my time learning the best way to optimize the product, it will probably work in my favor. Since I'm on camera, I'm going to just press these roots a little bit. <laughs> I think for the most part, I like this look. I'm not mad at it. I do think I will need some help with my flat iron. This is the Kristen S flat iron. It looks like this. I'm gonna just quickly press my hair by putting it on 280. So this is my final look. I pressed the edges just a little bit. I think it gives bombshell. I definitely see the volume in my hair. I'm not, I'm not too sure whether or not this is gonna last throughout the day, but overall, I'm not mad at it. I'm really not. I just think I need to learn it a little bit more, but what do we think? What do we think? It gives voluminous. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching my channel. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Comment in the comment box below if you think that the Dyson Airwrap is worth it. I don't know, the price point of the Airwrap 
is high. I believe I paid $600, $600 to struggle. But like I said, I need to learn the product a little bit better. I feel like my hair is starting to frizz up. I don't think it looks bad. Ah, okay guys, thank you for bearing with me. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video.